So I'm Ken Gussie. I'm Rich Montgomery. And we own Hippie Chickenola Company on Oak Island, North Carolina. The business was started by uh, a, a young lady here about four years ago, and I was one of her first customers. I fell in love with the tropical fruit. We went to pick up my order about a year ago, and um, she told us that the business had grown too much and that she was gonna have to sell it. We had been on the island for several years and decided we would like to become more part of the island. We jumped and did it and it's been wonderful. I'm a jeweler by trade and Kenneth was a food packaging engineer. It was part of an experience to grow and to be part of the island and to, you know, eventually, you know, have our business down here and. I guess retire someday. Well, I, I think the key thing is we had absolutely no business experience. Absolutely. But we both understood the value of a customer and what it takes to keep a customer from our other uh, jobs. It was scary at first, and we took over uh, right before season started. So we went in with both feet running, and um, yeah, it's it was it's crazy, but it's fun. Uh, we offer currently nine different uh, recipes. And they go from traditional cereal type granolas that you could put milk or eat with yogurt or, or uh, ice cream to more decadence with chocolates. And we have four products like that. Uh, a very specialty product with ginger, crystallized ginger, pecans toasted, and some of sweet cherries. And then our number one seller is Amazing Nuts and Seed. This is a grain-free product, so it's nothing but cashews, pecans, almonds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and unsweetened coconut. So I wanted to show how we make our Amazing Nuts and Seed product. Uh, it's our most popular product, and it's got really simple, basic ingredients. Um, it's our least sweet product. We have unsweetened coconut, Pecans from Texas, uh, comes off a of plantation. Pumpkin seeds, almond flour, silvered almonds, sunflower seeds, cashews, and then just a little bit of salt. We take all this, just add it to a bowl, do a quick mix. And then in our wet greedy bowl, I've already put in uh, honey, and vanilla extract. And then uh, here's maple syrup. And then some coconut oil. And so that's the entire sweetness that's added to this uh, granola. So you'll see the sheet pan. A quick whisk. And I think this is a really pretty granola just like this, but when you see it, when it's baked, the colors really pop on it. So now I just painted it on a, uh, a sheet pan. And the things about granolas, uh, they're not real fussy in how you spread them out. You don't want to have big holes. You don't want to uh, have lumps. But uh, as long as it's fairly even, it'll bake even. Some are a little particular on humidity, and we've had to invest in a dehumidifier so they don't come out sticky. But it's, it's more forgiving than if you were making cupcakes or regular cakes and that type of baking. When I throw this into the oven and then pull out the finished product. Oak Island, Southport, all together. Um, once you become a small business owner, there's really a great support network here among the small businesses that, yeah. you know, they'll go away if you just want to kick an idea around and say, you know, I'm thinking of this, how do you think I should go about it? Or where can I find this resource? And that I, I've just been amazed how all of a sudden you're part of a, a different group once you own a business here. It was, it's been fantastic. Well, and I think um, one thing we found out was people didn't realize that we actually make it right here on Oak Island. You know, we'll start out with three bowls and we start out with the oats and everything is done by hand. Uh, you know, everything is all natural. And uh, then we take 
a, a blank bag and we label it with what the flavor is going to be. Uh, we put the ingredients and everything on the bag, so each bag is handmade, and then we fill them by hand. So this is a totally handmade artisan product. So and we're very honored to for the quality and for the flavor that we provide everyone with. But I think that's why why we have such a tremendous following is people know it's a good product.